One. Get the size you want. I'll find that in the description. Two. Duplicate the body. Remove all the floating pieces. Call it inner body. Click extrude. Pull it in. Hold shift. Drag over our model. Press delete. There we go. C. Back to the outer body. Connect any floating objects to the mesh via the Boolean tool. Find that in the description. Quatre. Okay. Add an extra line or two around areas that have a different color. Five. Connect all the gaps you find with the multi-cut tool. That way ZBrush won't leave a hole later. Six. Export your inner shell and export your outer shell. Seven. Open. Z brush. Eight. Import both files. Back to the outer body. If the mesh is low poly, hold control. Press D twice and delete the lower resolution. Then Dynamesh. Pick a slightly higher number if it's blocky. Or bonus. Nine. If you have a texture, click texture. Import. Click your texture. Flip V. Scroll down tools. Click texture map. Select your texture. Turn on MRGB. Go to poly paint. Poly paint from texture. Hold control. Press D twice and delete the lower resolution. Then Dynamesh. Pick a slightly higher number if it's blocky. Repaint the model. Add or remove details if you need to. 10. Merge your inner and outer shells. Go to Deform. Rotation X. Minus 90. Click Z Plugin. 3D Print Hub. Make Y the height you want it. Export as VRML for texture. 11. Go to your 3D modeling site of choice. To see mine? Find that in the description. Import your model. Reput in your height. Select Multicolor. Now you can get anything printed in color. Are there things in ZBrush you want to know how to do? Leave a comment down below. For more pixie tips, don't forget to subscribe.